Hey guys, it's your boy Crippers, and welcome back to my FIFA 17. Leo Caramo, where last time I left off. I, he played my first, the first leg in the in, first knockout stage, get him in the Europa League. I also picked up a win, a very convincing win in the league over the rank. Oh, over Angeris, sorry. Learned was the game before. If I seem like I might be, ah, uh, and that stumble might be because I, I, I just got the best news ever. If you guys don't know, this is pre-recorded, of course. This was recorded on Saturday. It is currently Irish time. Seven minutes past eight. PSX just announced. Sony just announced the Last of Us Part Two. Hi there, everybody. I'm oh my God! Side me here in the French capital. We're at the Parc des Princes. I mean, I, I, I. I, I get that they're your competition, but are, are you trying to kill the Xbox One? But because fucking hell. Oh, oh my god. I I mean, wait. Anybody who's played The Last of Us could, could tell you that a sequel. Just, it, just, it was just too successful. Oh. I mean, the, the PS3, the original on PS3 was so successful oh. that it alone, the PS3 version alone would have warranted a sequel. But then, they made a remaster of the original of the first one for PlayStation 4, which everyone bought. But it probably sold more copies than the PS3. I know people who Specifically, got a PlayStation 4 so they could play The Last of Us. I guarantee you, most of you know people who like that as well. So, that's crazy. That is crazy. As we take a 1 0 lead over a PSG, he was ahead of her from the corner. Or beautiful. This player did and certainly it doesn't give a trap any kind of chance. He's good goal for the off. But oh my god, the sequel from a, a, a little about a three minute trailer has already gotten me like I, yes, the game of the year, whenever the fuck it comes out. It, they didn't give a release date, so they, they, they showed us. It's, it's like show. It's like telling someone, you know, you have to. You know, it's like showing a hungry person the best meal that they're ever gonna have in their life that will feed them and keep them happy. You know, for ages to come. One three minute trailer. Er. Ah, crap, I didn't mean to do that celebration. Um, one three minute trailer has got, has blown everything up. Everything is just going crazy. I'm seeing people. T I'm getting tweets left, right, and center. Have you seen this? Of course I've seen it. Are you kidding me? Attacking now. This. As soon as the trailer came on, my friend said, "Hey, for you to see this, 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 this could be big." I'm like, "Okay," because I, I was preparing to actually record this video just before this was announced. And I'm like, "Okay, I watch this. Okay, it's a trailer." Here it is now with Leal. It, it, instantly I'm looking at him thinking, holy shit, this looks like The Last of Us. I'm like, is this The Last of Us? Is this the sequel that we want? That we were, can't? 
clamoring for for about three years. Is this it? Is this that? And then we see a road sign with the fire symbol and and you can hear the crowd in attendance going fucking mental because they know exactly what it is. They, I could actually hear someone say, is this the last of us? I'm like, this dude could be right. It, 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 it looks like the last of us. It looks eerily like the last of us. And I mean, it's not the Walking Dead it, um, game because that's the only other, you know, kind of you know, that's the only other one that it could be. But they've already... We already got that track. They let her with, uh... Clementine. And... We're a fucking idiots. The game is gonna stick us with for another fucking four episodes. So it's just after I thought I got... I got Clementine all on her own. I mean... Why? Why do we need a fucking group? They're just gonna slow Clementine down and... You know, the only reason the baby he got taken on for the ride is because I couldn't get rid of the fucking thing. And, sorry, I, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about well, well, AJ, hey, the baby. I just don't care. So, excellent interception. Hopefully, in in, in season three, they will less. Separate Clementine from from whatever fucking group she's joined now, or maybe she hasn't joined. And the last time it wasn't exactly her choice. I mean, you think Clementine would have learned her lesson, and that you know, the group is just you know, it's just not a smart thing. Not a nice challenge. Will the ref do? They cope with it well defensively. Now that's a throw. I mean, this is not. This is not about that. This is not about the Walking Dead. This is about the Last of Us. We cut to Ellie playing the guitar. Oh my God! The shivers, the chills. She has a tattoo. She's looking back. Even more. As she's covered in cuts and bruises, is in blood. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, I see some, you know, and says he saw a calm, like where Ellie got. Someone made it where some where Ellie got raped and cut up by a bunch of different dudes. And this is eerily, and he said that this was eerily similar to that. I mean, I I don't I don't I don't want to imagine that Ellie being sexually assaulted. I know the game is a teen. And some people think, think you know, um, what's his name from the first game was the, was going to do that with Ellie. I, I think he was just trying to kill her with when he was choking her. I don't think he was uh, trying to insinuate that he was going to rape her. Um, what, what's his fucking thing? You know, cattle dude. 20 minutes now. Remaining. Yunus Sankare was good progress with this attack. So, the one she chops his face up with and shed it at it. Good finish, no doubt, Martin, but what about the play before that? I mean, maybe that's what the, the message the game is trying to get across, but no. I don't want to think about that. I'm, the cuts make her look more badass. At first, I had to look at the I had to rewind because at first the cut by her her collarbone right by her neck. I thought for a second, oh my god, is that another bite? 
Did she get bitten again? Uh, no, it, it definitely looks like a cut. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just assume that it's a cut. Also, it looks like she's wearing short sleeves. Which is odd. I mean... Was she not hiding the fact that she's infected, but not infected anymore? Are these dudes fireflies? Who are they? Are they fireflies? Or are they just random assholes? It was like in the first game. Just random people trying to kill me, huh? For Paris Saint Germain. Trying to uh, steal my stuff and. All that shit kill me. me for no apparent reason. Well, I'm sure they have a reason. It's just they want to survive and they see me as a threat, I guess. But, um, yeah. It sends an interesting vibe. It tells me. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They're just. And he could get away here. The shot's off! Well, that's the sign of a top class player. This, yeah. this game is going to be. I don't know how, but the game is going to be better than the original. Just from the trailer alone, I get that vibe. And Ellie ends it with saying, like, a Liam Neeson like quote. Oops. She doesn't say the, you know, the, the exact line for Taken, but it's pretty much, you know, like an edited version of that. Instead of, I will find you and I will kill you, she said hey, she's going to find every one of them, all of them, or every last one of them, and kill them all. I don't know who, who the fuck she's talking about, but I'm looking forward to it. I've been hyped for games before, but never to this level. This is two decisions for the unbelievable. Well, I want that game tomorrow. Yeah, you can't really argue it. What a chance! So, only if you were trying to sell me. He, well, you would never have to sell me the Last of Us game. That's 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 never gonna be the case. He scored from the spot. That has got the goal from the penalty spot. Well taken. Yeah, he's a man you can depend so, on. So he does keep a clear and cool head. Pretty excited, man. Pretty excited. Look and good. It looks sick. Prop. That's probably you know, footage from the Pro. Oh, uh, equivalent of the PlayStation 4. But I can't imagine it doesn't look that much different on the uh, PlayStation. Regular PlayStation, so yeah, I'm hyped, and, and there are a lot of people who are hyped as well because this, people have been wanting this freaking sequel for three years. In second, stand Rene with 54 points. In third, climbing the table, I get the feeling this is maybe gonna come out maybe in summer 2017, maybe. I don't know, I don't work for Sony or Naughty Dog, but that would seem like the best time, depending on where the game is. I mean, if they're showing us a trailer, they must be, you know, like, saying, this is coming, get ready. Fucking, you don't need to tell us to get ready for another Last of Us game. I mean, anyone who played the first one is all right, was, was ready as soon as they finished playing the first one for a second. And that is the fact of life. So, very excited. Hey, Ver. He pumped for that game. Whenever it is coming out, I don't know. Well, because, you know, I can't predict the future. Her. 
Manchester United one, Hertha Berlin two. Olympic Lyonnais. Sure. But I can tell you that when it comes out, you will get a playthrough on it because I'm going to fucking love that game because it just looks so good. From a three-minute trailer, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I don't normally, you know, there's very few games I buy on principle. Like, FIFA, I buy on principle. All that. I have ex ex I expect it to be meh, but I still buy it because I'm a loyal fan and I want to put a career mode and show well, I am the best at this game mode. And no one can touch me. If anyone tells you that they are be they're the best at career mode, tell them to come to me. Hey, so we can compare. Hair freaking mm, records and fucking trophies because that's how you measure how good you are at career mode. But the last of us, oh my god, yes, please. Like I said, I buy it tomorrow, but it's not out tomorrow. For I don't know when it's out. But I'm happy to wait. This is way. Yeah. When you think that Paris Saint-Germain clinched this, it was like a, this is like a Christmas present from Naughty e Dog and Sony. You know, like Merry Christmas, The Last of Us Part Two, and we're like, you son of a bitch, you son of a bitch, you're teasing us this, this, this. You don't even tell us when it's coming out, but you've hooked millions, fucking, fucking maybe billions. Just this is how they love to play on the break. With one three minutes, a little over three minutes. It's to be. And he's in, there with a header. in terms of the trail. So let me you no know, interact with me on you know, Twitter or Accord here for her. Really the the only where you can uh, contact me by message on on, uh, on um, YouTube. It comes Carlos Tevez. Channel, just go into, just go to my channel. If you go to about, you see, send message. I know a lot of people. I know. Well, number of uh, messages have uh, greatly decreased because I think people actually don't know where they uh, the uh, they where they moved the uh, thing. But I figured it out. You know, if, if you don't know where it is, there you go. Now you know. You know where the message. This is a People don't know where it is. They they have like unread messages and they probably don't read the messages. Like I would suggest leave a comment, but as you guys know I save all my comments because some assholes decided they fucking ruin it for everyone. But yeah. Presented possession to the opposition now. So yeah, contact me on Twitter, let me know how hyped are you for The Last of Us 2. Let me know if you played The Last of Us 1. I mean, it is crucial that you played The Last of Us 1, because you'll be fucking lost if you just jump in at the second game. Some games, well most ga games might give you a, like a recap or some shit like that, but you no. Know, Play, if you can, play the first one first. Make sure you play the first one by the time the second one comes out. Since they didn't give us a date, I'm assuming it's not coming out any in like the next few months. That's why I said it was probably, most likely, maybe the summer. Probably get more her information at Gamescom. I'm at uh, E3 in 2017. 
those events we'll probably get maybe a longer trailer maybe a game maybe a bit of gameplay caught out that's a fine tackle And we'll probably get a release date. Probably. E3, mark it down. Because it will be a big day. Doing well to keep the ball. Classy. If it's not out by Gamescom, it'll probably get like its final the final trailer, the final gameplay. Hey, maybe he get shots on here. I would be surprised if come game if if it's not out then it will be close to being out. If if it's coming out in 2017, I, I have no idea. But I mean, the fact that they show us a trailer means we're getting this soon, sometime. For the attackers to feed off from the goalkeeper that time, I'm out to the ball well. I mean, we knew a second game was going to come eventually. Anyone who played the first game would, t would tell you, yeah, a, a second game was always going to happen. But we didn't actually know when the second game was going to come. We, we didn't, in fact, to be perfectly honest, I was expecting the movie to come out first because they were, they are meant to be making a movie on based on the first part. Maybe they're going to release the game and the, and the movie is going to cover both parts this movie is in early production so it could easily although you can make a fucking amazing story if you do it right if you do the uh... looking dangerous now now Movies for games, they don't always come out the best. I mean, I'd uh, give you the uh, horrific, terrible fucking piece of shit that is uh, the Super Mario Bros. movie as an example. That's why uh, there's no such thing as a Sonic movie or anything like that. Uh, freaking... Shots up! And, Pokemon, like, you know, games like a Pokemon, get away with it because there's, you know, series. The reason, you know, the movies don't follow the games, they follow the series. But when you have only one source, if, if you fuck up, you fuck up. But, uh, I'm going to choose to believe that they deservedly lead. Well, they've not the ball. Um, knocked it about with Maybe, maybe they'll. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will cover both games. I, I, as far as I know, it's that the movie isn't coming out any times either. So that's why I'm again maybe they're gonna cover both. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I can't tell the fucking future. Loses bearings completely, Martin. A really odd one for him. Just widen the. In any event, I think I've uh, talked in length about <laughs> fucking uh, the Last of Us Part Two. Good play. How good that's going to be. Position could get at them. Manager thinking for the away side. Time for a change. Alan, what about Bordeaux in their next game? Well, they're playing Lyon in the next match in Ligue 1, and uh, it's got the look of an extremely tight and tense match. Check on the clock, and they're thought he would uh, intercept that pass, but he didn't. One foul. Over there that we 
Yo, I, I can't stop smiling. I really can't. You guys can't see me, of course. But just know I'm smiling. Ear to fucking ear. I am... It's ironic because it's coming up. I'm like a kid on Christmas. Excited to see me what... That fucking, uh... Gifts... Their parents got them... Parading as a fat man in a goddamn suit with... With, with a fucking magic reindeer. Or, I'm that I'm that level of excitement. This lad has done it time and again during the course of his career. That's top quality, no doubt about it. Well, the keeper's pulled off a, a really good save, but that's when he needs the help of his defenders. Well, they've widened the margin now. 3-0 they lead. Henry Setic. Amalfitano. So, uh, forgive me if I, uh, if I sound like I'm focused on other things, because, well, to be honest, I am. I mean, it's, it's not affecting how I'm playing. You can just look at it. Beat PSG 5 0. Well, I have Bordeaux beaten as well. Hold our 3 0 in that um, with uh, time. Sticking away slowly. Morgan Amalfitano. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. So, yeah. Tevez. Looking dangerous now. In quickly. And here's the header. Oh, yes. Too fat. And puts it in the uh, really poor clearance. Well, it's just a footnote to the match, really. It comes the defender hoops it up, but it comes straight to Too fat and lands perfectly on his head, as if that was like the perfect assist. Unfortunately for Bordeaux, it came from a Bordeaux player. <laughs> and there is the full time whistle. Um, and trust me, yeah, I will try and uh, calm myself down. I won't be as hyped. Well, I'm so, I'll still be fucking hyped when you see the next video. But I won't let it come across as much. Fucking PSG again. Let's see if they have PSG again. Four Ordo Nil. What? those results mean to the league table? At the top of I do, I do have PSG again. Jeez. Bring out. I think once would be enough. No, no. PSG aren't satisfied with once they 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 want to go again. They want to go. They want to get their ass kicked again. Okay. I think that was a uh, Toulouse. It was uh, gonna be the second game of the next episode. Let me just uh, check if that was correct. Yep. Fenerbahce is my next. Opponent in the, the Europa League round of 16 in for the place in the a quarter finals. That should be interesting. Is it a trip to Turkey or is it a home game first? It's a trip to Turkey. That's interesting. But next episode, I have the cup game against PSG. That'll be for our place in the semi-final of the Copa National. And I'll have a league game against Toulouse. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Until next time, you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.